Daily Loom friends, welcome to the Snoring Bulldog podcast. It's been a while since we had a bulldog here to snore, but we have Charlie now who I'm fostering. Unfortunately, he doesn't snore, but believe me, he causes enough trouble otherwise. And for those who wanted to know how my producer is doing, the recently promoted Mr. Beeb is no longer with us. My beloved cockatiel friend who is to have been the companion through the rest of my life has flown the coop. There was a strange, bizarre, impossible mishap with the pup that resulted in a door being bumped, a screen being bumped, a one inch gap being created. And Mr. Beeb got out through the one inch because he got startled and he is out flying with the wild parrots. So we will be producing the show on our own. Wish me luck. If you wonder why you've been spared hearing from me in the last couple months, I just came out of what I would call literally an existential crisis. It was the weirdest thing I've ever been through in my life, and I highly recommend it. Things like that don't leave you where they find you, and my entire way of thinking has changed, which it needed to. So I'm very grateful for what was a tough couple of months, and the weirdness manifested in some strange physical challenges. A couple of the challenges remain, but that will change as well, I'm sure. I purchased a fancy, expensive microphone to do podcasts and narrations, since where I live is so darn noisy on the urban edge. Well, I went to go use the fancy new microphone for the first time this morning, and the plug is not compatible with my computer. My computer seems to think it is even fancier than the microphone. So I'll have to get some sort of adapter to get these two in sync together. I really don't have much to say today, but people have been asking when I was going to do the next podcast, so here we go. (laughs) Yesterday, our newsletter went out. In fact, I'm going to check on that real quickly to see how we're doing if people have gotten it. Okay, it's got a decent open rate, which means enough of you have seen it that hopefully some of you will have had your questions answered. I hadn't sent out the newsletter for a spell either because there were so many changes going on with events. As many of you know, we do a lot of events with Charles Spratley, my friend who is a fabulous storyteller. He's an historian. He writes historical and especially paranormal tours for Haunted Orange County, which is morphing into haunted Southern California. He's had a physical challenge that he's been dealing with, and it's led to us postponing his events right now while he gets better. And I'm told he's getting stronger and better every day. So that's very, very exciting. Other things that have had to be put on hold were our planned Halloween event at Pamela's in Garden Grove because darling Pamela recently had a triple bypass. So my goodness... People are going through real things here, and we're adjusting accordingly. We have actually changed or added a couple of things because of the other changes, so hopefully that'll be fun for you. We are adding back the Sugar Plum Holiday Tea we were to have had at the Four Seasons Tea Room in Sierra Madre right before COVID hit, or I guess that's when it was planned, but we couldn't do it because of COVID. Anyway, the Sugar Plum Tea is back. That is now for Sunday, December 4th, and we are looking for a harpist. We just want beautiful harp music playing. That seemed like a fitting thing to do while you were at tea. And I think it was Penny, who I'd met originally at the Four Seasons. She used to have a tea group for years, and they've been all over the place. She was the one that recommended harp, and I could just kick myself that I didn't think of it. My harpist, who I called the harpy, passed away during the pandemic, and I guess I just never think of harp anymore. I keep thinking that it's no longer available. It is. I just need to find a new harpy. The Secret Society I was to have unveiled this fall. The the Secret Society is still there, but the unveiling is on hold. The book was finished quite some time ago, but with everything else going on, I decided I needed to spend the time nurturing some folks I care about. That was before I knew I was having an existential crisis. And so that has been put on hold. And my time is going to be spent a little differently. I claim to have a focus on things of the spirit. And yet I don't spend the bulk of my time working on that. I spend a lot of time, but not the bulk. So I'm going to have to change my schedule and the way I get stuff done and my expectations for work to make sure that I really am putting in the time and effort to grow as a human being and have my character improve because that's the stuff that matters to me. The other stuff in the final analysis, so what? So I'm going to be working on being a, a better person and hopefully that will translate to better everything that I offer you guys. I don't really have much else to say. 
I've got a new novella coming out, the first one all year, since I put that Secret Society one on hold. It's number 15 in Peyton Drake's Omnitale. That comes out in a couple months. It's with the proofreader right now. I'm going to start doing the audio for number 16, hopefully next week. I'm enjoying the little doggy here, although he's not house trained, it turns out. He's nine years old. He's a bulldog in his golden days, but he has a doggy door at his mommy's house. So he's used to just coming and going whenever he wants or needs to. So we've had some excitement with my new rug being fully christened by a full bladder, my new sofa being christened, and so on, on more than one occasion. So we're working all that out, but he's a very, very, very sweet boy. There are a couple of openings at things if you still want to come. The main one is, we thought this would have sold out immediately, but boy, oh boy, people keep saying they want to come, but they're just not booking, is for The Nightmare Before Christmas with Carolers on October the 15th in what will be the spookified courtyard outside McKenna's in Seal Beach, the Main Street entrance. That's from 5 to 8, I think, or thereabouts. The Carolers are the Caroling Connection, and if you haven't seen them perform before, they're not background carolers like you might be used to. They put on quite a show, and they are going with a hybrid Victorian Christmas look and something a little spookier. So they're just incredible. You're you're really going to enjoy them if you come to see them. The rest of the 2022 schedule is pretty much locked in, hopefully, for October, November, and December. The big news being our little arts fair on November 13th in the arcade behind Pamela's Tea Room, the enclosed arcade. We've got a whopping 12 vendors for our first little arts fair, and next year we'll have even more. But we're just grateful for those who are participating now. It will be free. There will be a tea ahead of time that day for the launch of our 2022 anthology. This is the sixth anthology we've done. And this theme is Tweaked and Original Fairy Tales. We only have a few people who submitted, which is just fine because these were short stories, not little poems, and so they're longer. So just a handful of people that have been able to follow through and get their entire story done. I'm looking forward to getting to read all of them. I never get to read the stuff until it's time to format once the deadline has hit, because otherwise I have to do it all over again when the time comes. And that's my reward for sitting down to format is I get to see what they wrote. If I already had read everybody's stories, I'd never want to do the formatting because the formatting's not fun. That's all I can think of. If anybody needs me, hopefully you know where to find me. Thanks to those who came to our little brew and broom craft party the other day. And I'm so sorry to those who had surgeries and were unwell. I hope you know you were in all of our prayers. We lifted a cup to you and hope you're on the mend. My big push for 2023 for events will be to find nonprofits doing things to raise money for their wonderful activities, mostly house museums, that sort of thing. This year, we've been going to the How Waffle House, the Heritage House Museum in Riverside, and now we will be going to St. Luke's Brass Rubbing Center later in October. So we really want to help these groups that are comprised of volunteers, keeping history alive with beautiful artifacts and historic venues, that sort of thing. So if you know of any, let me know so we can start supporting them. And for those with kids or grandkids who like some interaction when they read, I've been working on Omnopoly and our comic coloring companion for the Omni Tales. We've got Omnopoly for the first 14 novellas in Peyton Drake series, and I only have the comic coloring companion for two of the 14. Starting with the second one, they will all be activity books as well as coloring books. So that's about it. Hope everyone's having a beautiful fall. The weather where I live has not yet yielded to fall. It teased us as it often does, and now it's going back towards summer. I'm going to have high 80s here next week. I am not amused. Looking forward to getting to put on socks and sweaters and things cooling off and mellowing out. (laughs) Happy fall, everyone. Cheriste som. Tuta.